Right now, federal investigators at the University of Richmond are talking with students about sexual assault. It's part of a Title IX investigation involving a long list of schools. CBS 6 senior reporter Wayne Koval went to campus to get the numbers on sexual assault and asked students whether they think there's a problem. I think if anything, it's just it's a good thing that um, it is being investigated and it's something that people are aware about. The University of Richmond, one of 94 college campuses being visited by the Department of Education after concerned sexual assault cases may have been mishandled. That does kind of have to say something about how the school kind of deals with um, the reports of sexual assaults on this campus. Students here being educated about sexual assault. It's definitely important that young men and women realize the issue is out there. And um, Curry says I many students taking the information being provided seriously. We've had a lot of men's engagement in this movement as well, which is um, important and and really exciting in terms of creating cultural change. From 2011 through 2013, there were 31 reported sexual offenses on the University of Richmond campus. But some students say when it comes to a national issue. I don't think it's as big of an issue as it's necessarily being led on to be. Others say the issue is still hidden. I tend to think that it's more systemic than people realize and that there is a culture, especially with, you know, certain male dominated groups on campus that expects young women to dress and act a certain way in order to seek social approval. It's not just the administration trying to bring awareness on the college campus about sexual assault. A freshman here at U of R has actually made it her mission to educate her classmates. This is truly something that affects everyone. Statistically, it's one in four women and one in six men. So it would be impossible for you to not know someone who'd been affected by this incredibly pernicious phenomenon. At the University of Richmond, Wayne Coble, CBS 6 News.